Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you're joining from. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Paystack Payment Gateway into a, Word, a WooCommerce WordPress website. Without further ado, let's do this. Firstly, you want to go up onto your site, then you want to go to plugins. Then you just want to add new plugin. Then you want to search for WooCommerce or Paystack, right? Then you see Paystack WooCommerce um, payment gateway, and then you install. I've installed mine and then you activate and of course you also should have gotten um woocommerce itself by now okay so you just install and you activate right so all you just need to do now is to go to the installed plugins right and um, you should see uh, the Paystack WooCommerce Payment Gateway. It should also be somewhere here, right here. So just come here to um, WooCommerce, go to Settings. Once you've installed the um, WooCommerce for um, Paystack, just come to WooCommerce go to settings go to okay just fill in fill out this general information right here your your address your city okay i'm doing this for a digital course it makes it more easy but for a course that will be um, delivered on site it's definitely the same process you can check out some other videos on how to set up um WooCommerce itself, but I'm just showing you how to integrate the payment gateway. Okay, but for the sake of being elaborate, I'm just adding this. So just fill out this information right here, your country code and all of that, your shipping location and all of that, your country currency, and then you click save changes. Don't forget to click save changes. Next thing you want to, you want to leave products for now. You want to leave the product for now and then you want to come to payments so once you come to payments um paystack would have been added here and it will be turned off or what you need to do is to just turn it on and click save changes don't forget to click save changes and immediately you click on paystack and then it shows you uh, this interface so what you want to do is leave this on enable um paystack leave this as what it is leave this at what this this would be ticked on you want to untick this um your payment options if you want it to pop up or redirect i prefer it to redirect then you need your live secret key for your paystack account and your live public key for your Paystack account, right? Then you can leave auto complete order ticked. That's if you are dealing with digital product, but if you're dealing with um, on site product, that um, some of them you might have to uh, pay cash on delivery. You might want to turn this off so that uh, once you receive cash, you can um, take the orders complete manually. But I'm using this for a digital product because actually so just leave this on and you can just leave all of this the way it is you can enable payment via safeguard so that uh, your users can just easily pay next time they want to come in so when you've done all of this you need to get your life secret um, key and your life public key and all you just need to do is to go to your paystack accounts wherever that may be um, i'm quickly locating mine ok 
okay so all you just need to do is go to paystack if you don't have a paystack account it's pretty simple just go to paystack.com just go to paystack.com and create an account create a free account like you would for any other um account creation process and if you need help you can just check on youtube for the same process once you do this um it might ask you to um, verify your identity i don't know if it will ask you to do that right away or um it might take some like three days for them to verify it but either ways once you um get in there you will have your own dashboard like this all you just need to do is to go down to settings when you get down to settings you go to api api keys and the web hooks once you see that you see your um, your live public key here and your secret key here you just want to enter your password and copy this and then copy this once you do that you want to go back to the um, woocommerce the paste tag for woocommerce and then you want to paste the live secret key here and then you want to paste the live public key here and then you want to click on save changes and that's basically it for the payment integration then you can next thing you want to do is i mean um, this is um tutor lms right i'm trying to create um, a payment um, I'm, I'm trying to create payment for a course the title of the course is success mindset right so um i'll just go to uh, courses right here click on success mindset before the course was a free course but then i switched it i switched it from scrolling down switches from a, a free course to a paid course so all you just need to do is select product but then you might have not created um created a product all you just need to do is go to the same commerce click on products right all right here you see add new product um if you've not added any product you see a very big massive button that you can never miss um create product all you just need to do is um copy the name of the course or the page or the shop or the content whatever it is if if you created a shop page or um you're, you're using tutor lms like a course all you just need to do is to just go to the course the cost product or the shop item whatever it is that you want to add a um, payment to um just want to copy the name success mindset once you copy the name just go to your woocommerce go to products right go to products yeah go to products and then you want to oh i'm feeling good doing this right now <laughs> okay so you just want to uh, create a new product right and then you just want to paste the name okay so this is not the name the name is success mindset so whatever in small letters but this is just an illustration i already created it so you just want to let it have the same name right then you want to scroll down you might leave this description because or you can fill it if you like um, no biggie then you just want to scroll down you want to tick um, this for tutor that's using um, lms but moreover if it's a download is a downloadable product you want to click downloadable if it's a virtual product like mine is you just want to click on virtual and then you just want to impute the price here whatever price that it is and that's that's all of it the next thing that you we advise that you do is to set a product image so when you're checking out so this is like the product image that i'm using and once you've done that the next thing you just need to do is to publish once you publish that then you have um you have the product right so what you just need to do now that you have the product just go back to 
um, the course go back to the course and then um, just click on the course or whatever um, it is um, then you want to scroll down and then it, it was free before then once you just click on select product that course that we just created um, that product that we just created I mean would now show up here so success mindset you just want to click that and then you want to update or save changes and that is all so so that is all so next thing is to test your payment method so I'll just I'll just go to So this is the course um, payment um, success mindset. It should have shown um, the amounts here, which is two fifty. And once you just click, you click um, add to cart. I've already added to cart. That's why it's not showing the amounts here anymore. So this is it, two fifty. So it's because it remembers that I've added to cart. That's why it didn't show add to cart here. What should have been here? shouldn't be view cut it should be add to cut then the amount will show you just want to click that and it should come to this um interface and look at that picture that we added to the product the featured image then you just want to click on proceed right and that's where you just want to fill in all of these details once you fill in all of that details you might want to save your accounts if you're a recovery student and then you click on I have read and agreed and then you click on complete payments once you do that it will take you to this checkout page in which where I stopped actually so I'm just going to put in my card and then I'll just um, run the payments and make sure that it's working so that is how to integrate um, base stack for um, WooCommerce I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my voice. Um, I'd like you to subscribe and stay tuned uh, for more videos. Thank you. God bless you. Have a lovely time.